Hi guys, good to have you all back. What is on my desk today? This is a big part of my vintage office stamp collection. I collect vintage office stamps among a gazillion other things. I absolutely adore them. Now, uh, most of them are on display in my in my craft room collecting dust. It's fantastic. I have this I have a couple of these carousels and, and this is actually don't fall off. Um, an, uh, probably an antique piece. It's like a double layer thingy that you can it's just Fantastic, right? Yeah, absolutely adore it. Um, but I hardly ever use them. And most of these do still work. So today I want to use them. I was inspired by this beautiful piece of paper that is underneath here, which is also vintage. It is French. It is from the late 40s. I have no clue what it is about. Um, but I love the paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make bits and bobs small labels, just lovely pieces of decorated paper that you can use in your journals or just, you know, for the fun of making it. So I'm going to use this paper, the office stamps, but I'm also going to com combine it with newer stamps that have sort of the same vibe to them. So you don't have to have all these old office stamps. You can make these with some newer stamps that are probably still available in shops and such. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's going to be a bits and bobs label making stamping session, something that I really love to do. So let me get all of this out of the way, show you the beautiful paper and start creating. For the supplies, here's what I'm going to use for paper. I'm going to use this paper. It is fantastic, guys. It's probably from the Department of Finance or Ministerie van Financiën, if you're Dutch. Uh, it's French. It is from the late uh, 40s. I just, I love it. I got this in Happy Mail years ago, probably from Ellen. I think it was from Ellen. It's actually sort of a folder. Yeah, so there were more papers in there that are not in my possession, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to cut out stuff here. Yes, all making lovely bits and bobs from the. Look at this, guys. It's just beautiful. But because it's a folder, I have this beautiful piece of paper left. Uh, then I'm going to make my own on, because I'm going to stamp on here. Now, you probably don't have this, unless your name is Ellen, and <laughs> you have a couple of these. Don't worry, guys, I have an alternative. Uh, maybe you have some coffee dyed paper, or some um, Amazon packaging, or something that is a little bit more grungy. Or craft colored uh, cardstock. I have I have a couple of these with black craft color and then white. Hardly ever use the white, and uh, or also never use the black. I'm going to use the black today for some backing. So you can use this. See, it sort of mimics this. So use this. I'm going to use black because it is sort of fragile paper. Uh, I'm going to just glue it on black cardstock so it's a little bit sturdier, heavier, and I can use them as labels and such. So that's what I'm going to use for paper. Now, for tools, I'm going to use very basics. Uh, scissors, ruler, knife, glue. I'm going to be, in, I'm going to be um, distressing with ground espresso. Very dark, very, very grungy. I might use some circle punches to make round bits and bobs. Or I might even use my die cut machine. Probably won't, but you know, I cannot say and then I won't. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, and of course, I'm going to do a lot of stamping. Now, for the ink, for stamping, I'm going to use my favorite, very favorite, Fallen Leaves. I think that it would, would look lovely on this one. I might use black. And that will be Nocturne. Nocturne. That is yellow, love. Where's my black? It's here. Nocturne or Nocturno, whatever you want. It's black. Um, and for colors, I try to do this color. It's a little bit purpley blue. I don't know. I'm choosing Twilight and um, a lovely red. Now, I don't stamp my stamps with Distress uh, Oxide or Distress Inks. I just, I prefer this. This is for distressing. This is for actual inking. Okay. For the stamps, of course, the, the lovely um, vintage stamps that I have, but also I'm going to do some with the newer stamps. Let me show you. I've taken out my favorites. This is Spellbinders, Kathy Holden, Reading Matter and Sign Here. Reading Matter and Sign Here with all the signatures. Love that. And then, for sure, Dates from the Past from Creative Expressions by Sam Poole. I have 
one and two. Sam, make a part three, please. Yes, because these are amazing. Then my absolute favorite one from uh, the Tim Holtz collection, Eccentric. If you have this, you don't need anything else, guys. I just adore this one. This is the one to have. Correspondence has lovely bits and bobs on them. Ticket booth, because I want to use part of the numbers and such. And then I have the label frames. This one, these are the big labels. Uh, because I want to make labels, you can just cut them out or just first stamp them and cut them. Um, because of the labels, I'm also using I'm also using some Elizabeth Craft designs today for a couple of reasons. Because they have a fantastic sort of label stamp. Yes, I don't know the number of these guys because I have had this uh, before I started my YouTube channel. But it's labels from Elizabeth Craft designs. And then I have a couple of these sets. Oh wait, is it this one? Oh yes. I do have it. Retro label CS133. Yes, I do have it. Yay me. I kept it. So organized. And then I have tickets 292. Um, and then this is the newer one. Which is tickets, tickets 314. Yes, uh, designed by Esther Glass. I just uh, love these. Now, um, what else? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I might add some stuff to stuff, <laughs> like a poster stamp or maybe some hardware or a whole reinforcer. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're just going to be creative. So take out your stamps and let's see. And, and some uh, craft colored cardstock or coffee dyed paper or Amazon packaging. Just a piece of paper that is a little bit more like darker and grungy. Yeah. Okay, let's start. I did some prepping, guys. I put the black cardstock on the back. Now, the black cardstock was a little bit well, smaller than this piece of paper. So, I had to trim a piece off. But then, I could also sort of test out the ink. Yes. And the ink is fantastic. This is Fallen Leaves. I think it looks really, really cool on this paper. I don't think I'm going to do black. So, I'm going to do this for just the outline and, and such. Yeah. So this one, I actually want to make some bits and bobs. Now, some of these are already sort of in a frame. So I'm just going to cut these, all of these out. But we also have some parts that has, have nothing on it. So I might use then some of these stamps, these label stamps. Let me just sort of see what we can do. Like over here. We might do something like this. It's too small. Maybe this. See? You have some dates in here. And it just, it just looks cool. So I'm going to use my label stamps to make some, some other pieces. Now there's a big sort of, I don't know, is it a T or whatever. Um, this is what happens with these old forms. This almost always happens. I cannot erase this. It will make a mess. Um, so it's on there. It's on there for good. I just have to deal with it. Yeah. So let's first take out our stamps. And then try to stamp here and there. Because I really want to have this uh, in a label. Yeah. Okay. Taking out my blocks. Big ones. Smaller ones. Absolutely love this one. So we need this. Um, does this fit? I think it will. Yeah. I need to have something underneath because I might go off the page. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'm going to lose the, the small little line here, but that's okay. I'm going to have the number in front and then you can maybe even put something in the back after it. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. That's too small though. That's too small. Oh, I haven't been stamping for a while now. I really want to. I've had these uh, stamps, these label stamps from Elizabeth Craft Designs for a while. They are a little bit older. Uh, it did get me some used to because uh, they're a little bit sticky. See? They're a little bit sticky. But you do get used to it. Oh, and I probably need to step, stand up. Yeah. Speaking of Elizabeth Craft Designs, uh, if you're in the Netherlands, uh, you probably already know 
they're having sort of a, a special event this weekend um very near where i live uh combined with doing they're having sort of a retreat with all sorts of uh, classes and such and um it's going to be fantastic it is in a hotel about eight minutes from my home and all sorts of uh youtubers are going to be there like esther glass um david but also tony from craft by tony um so guess what yes i have a date with tony tomorrow night <laughs> yeah we're gonna meet up that's it's going to be fantastic guys i'm just gonna cut this one out just to show you uh what it would look like when it's finished Yeah, so I am actually making a lovely happy meal for Tony. If you don't know who she is, I'm going to link her a channel below. She is absolutely fantastic. I adore the person. She's really, really cool. And I was making a happy meal and then I came across one of these. So I don't know if you're watching, Tony. Don't watch this. Go away. <laughs> because I'm going to mention what, I, what I'm going to put in the happy meal. I'm, I have put one of these in, uh, in happy meal. I think she's going to enjoy it. We are a little bit similar in style. See? Ta-da. But you could just stamp this, love. You could just stamp this. Yes, I'm going to show you later when we get to, to this one. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, guys, because watching me cut these out is boring. I am going to put on all sorts of stamps on here. I don't think I have a stamp that's big enough for this unfortunately but that's okay i do want to use all these so i am going to sort of cut this out i want to leave on the small black line so i'm going to cut right underneath here there we go yes you could be done but i am seeing several things so i'm going to take off this one there you go i'm going to take off funny enough this part you could have it as a whole no problem but i want to make a couple more so i have this yes but i also want this <laughs> Yes. Do I want two of these? I want two of these. Now, one is going to have um, the line and the other one isn't. That's okay. I'm going to sort of mimic the line with probably ink or something. Yep. To cut this off. Well, and then this piece. from the other side oops what are you doing take out your scissors love no 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 scissors no scissors there we go so if you are um a participant of this retreat if you are a dutchie uh, i am not there guys i am not participating or any of the of the teachers let's just call them uh teachers no 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 i just um i'm just there in the evening to have a lovely time with tony great right yeah probably gonna cut this off so we made some uh, small bits and bobs we could even use this you could put a lovely stamp on it and uh, oh yeah i'm gonna keep them I'm gonna keep them now this doesn't this has big line here big line here no line here what are we going to do? I think I'm just going to ink it. Can we just... Let's just try. I don't know, guys. Probably. Will this sort of... Well, it does look a little bit better. But not the way I want it. Not the way I want it. So. Next plan. I have a... A black sort of fine liner. I have a this. <laughs> a ruler. I'm just going to draw a line. 
Oh, yes, much better. Now I do need to ink all the other edges as well. Just draw an extra line. There you go. Do we need more of that? Maybe a bigger line on this side. Well, it looks a bit better. Looks a bit better. Same with this one. There's no line here on the top. Now this is a fine liner and the line needs to be a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to draw a couple of lines. See? Yes. And then one on the top. Just make your own. Keep it steady, love. Keep it steady. Is that steady? That's not steady at all. I'm sorry, I am struggling a bit. Tada! We made our own. We're gonna do it with this one as well. Yes, is there anything else on here that we want? Well, I want this, of course, I'm gonna cut this out. I'm going to cut this one out. I think I want to cut this. Put a stamp here, do I want to put a stamp here? A uh, longer one. Does this fit? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Why? But this does. Yeah, let's just stamp some stuff. The Tim Holtz stamps are also really, really nice, but they are very, very big. They're big, big stamps. So I don't think I'm going to use those. Yes to this. Oh, yes to this. Ooh. Does this fit? Stand up. It does. It does have the blue line all over it, but just let's embrace it. Let's embrace the blue line. And it's absolutely amazing. Does this fit also? Also fits. bigger hmm it's too small how about Tim Holtz ones do I have a sort of a tall skinny one no these are well well don't know about this we could maybe let's see and put them put some more on it Right? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna try. I need a bigger block. Is this big enough? Just, just about. Something underneath, there we go. I need to stand up for this guys. Don't drop it. I'm hoping it's on the paper. I don't know. I'm hoping it is. It is! Oh, it's absolutely fantastic, right? Yeah. Can we do something with this? Um, maybe. No, I'm just going to cut this. I'm just going to cut this. I am going to do probably this. That looks cool, right? Yeah. It says observations.
There you go. You want this? Does Mr. Holt have one? I don't want to lose. I really love this piece. Um, let's see. I think I'm just going to cut this off. Am I rolling frame? A little bit. more quiet now yeah because i do not want to cut uh, my fingers off <laughs> oh let's just take out scissors love just cut this just cut this and then do something with it later there we go okay uh we're gonna do this frame but then we'll probably lose the three on here maybe gonna try it anyway if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Let's see. Squeaky chair. I have no clue, guys. Is it on here? It is, but it did sort of... Well, the four and the five are on here, but not these these ones. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Do you want to sort of make a big one somewhere here? Yes. And we can sort of enhance these guys. Put something else on there. Have the sort of the writing more in the background and then put something else on oh, actually that might be a pretty good idea if i do say so myself and this one do another one gonna make this into separate pieces i want this and something like this yeah uh, i'm going to make one here just gonna cut it do we have a small stamp we do we do There we go. We have another size that would sort of fit here. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to stamp something in here, guys. I just want to make a lovely frame. I also have the die cuts from this. The thin lids frame thingies yes that you can apparently uh, ink yeah and then die cut it and then the ink is on there yeah well not if you're me because i cannot make that work not for the life of me tried everything do not even come up with suggestions guys <laughs> i watched every sort of video on it and i tried different sort of inks and i tried tried with rubbing it with alcohol first and it just doesn't work for me so i basically do not like them yeah this do we want another one here yeah Oh yes, my offer stamps. Yes, my offer stamps. Already forgot. Am I in frame? Sort of. 
Yeah, cool. So, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut them out. Yes, also this, also this, 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 this. And then we're going to play with these. I'm going to put some other lovely stuff in here. Already love them very much. But before I decorate them, let's make some sort of new blank ones. Yeah, oh, they're so great, guys. I'm going to show you later. We're going to do some more decorating. Now, other than the normal label um, stamps that I'm going to use, I am going to use um, this one from Elizabeth Craft Designs and the one that says Boarding Pass. We also love this one. Like them a lot. There we go. There was also one in a new uh, stamp set that I have. The only thing is, it says here, tell the story. Um, this is not something that I enjoy. Uh, I might try to sort of avoid inking that part for some in, in some sort of way. I, I don't I have no clue how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try. Because I do like the rest of it, I just don't like the tell your story part. Because I am not a uh, planner. I don't do uh, a planner thingies, journal thingies. I do like it, but I haven't gotten around to it, to making that. Yeah, but I do like this. Yes, lovely. Let's do the boarding pass as well. Yep. Hello. There you are. <laughs> this one. Ooh, missed a bit. That's okay. Let's see. How are we going to do this? Already did it previously because I, I see I inked this and this, but not this. So I did already do this trick some, some way. I probably did this. Yeah. Ta-da. Done. Let's just see. I want to use as much of this page as possible, of course. Yeah, that's what I like. That's what I like. Now, um, there are also in the in this one. I have this. This one, maybe another one. Is that one? Oh yeah, look, I have all of these. So if you have this set and not a Sim Holt set or a Elizabeth Craft Design set, then you also have labels. Oops. I don't need a big one. Let's do some smaller ones. Do you want to do round? Mm -hmm. Apparently we do. Round one. And then this one. I'm going to do two of these. Because why not? Yes. And then I have one of those. Now these are hollow on the inside, guys. So if you put them on a stamp block, be sure they're sort of straight. Two of those. I have another one here. And I think uh, Field Notes from Tim Holtz has also has um, a label stamp. Most likely, yeah, I think so. 
Can we fit two of those here? We probably can. Well, let's just see. Oh yeah, very smart. Very smart. Did you see this? I was okay. Well, they're on there, but they're not pretty anymore. <laughs> And that's okay. Let's do some of the craft design ones. I really like the bigger ones. Now, these are not hollow. Yeah, these are solid in the middle. I do prefer, prefer this. Otherwise, it, they could be crooked. Yeah. Let's have two of those as well. big uh, space left here do we have some that are small let's see if this one fits here and then i'm going to do a couple of big ones from mr tim holtz yeah oh, this probably this will probably fit if you go look around in your stamp set you might find some in other sets as well that you just totally forgot about. I think I want to use this one because this has sort of um, cut corners. One and two. Yeah? What else? Oh, yes. I'm going to do the big Tim Holt ones as well. Everything is stamped. I use these smaller ones from Elizabeth Craft Designs just to fill in some of the blank spaces. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Okay. I've been thinking, guys. I can do this um, in two ways. Keep it as is. Do some lovely stamping and then cut it out. Um, but I think I'm going to cut them out first because... I do not want to accidentally drop a stamp onto another stamp and completely ruin it. Does that make any sense? Yeah. So I'm just going to cut all of these out. When cutting them out, I'd like to leave a little bit of, um, hoping you can tell, a small border all around. So I'm not cutting in the ink. Yeah. Just cutting a little bit all around. So I'm leaving a little bit of room. So that's what I'm going to do with these. Let's see if I have a circle stamp that is this big. Yay big. But it could be a little bit bigger. That would be okay. So I'm going to cut these out. All of them are cut. Now some of them are done. Um, these ones I just sort of cut out from the front sheet. And then these from the back. Now this also has some lines on, on here. So I will decorate this. And these are from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And then the sort of blank labels. I'm just first going to concentrate on these ones. This whole bit here, done. I'm not going to touch this anymore. So, done. Also this one, done. Do you want to do something here? Can we do something here? I think we're going to do something here. So, let's do some decorating. Now, for this, I'm going to use probably some bits and bobs. Yeah. I think so. Let's have sort of a poster stamp on or, or something like it. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can do some lovely decorating on here. Now I have a, a small box with some poster stamps. I took out some labels that I had random on my desk somewhere. And this box also has all sorts of lovely stuff. So some label thingies. Let's just see what's in here. Make a mess. Ooh, Denison label. And I have these. Will they sort of... Can we sort of attach them? Oh, that looks cool, right? That's not done. <laughs> done. Oh, yeah. And this is an apothecary label. Um, no, maybe on a bigger one. I think it might look cool. One of them. Yeah. Terms strictly cash. See? That'll work. That will work. Lovely poster stamps. This is actually a food stamp for potatoes. Now these are from probably from the war. I don't know how this got in here. I do have some of these. 
I personally do not like to use them. Um, yeah, I don't think you should mess with these. Honestly, they remind us of uh, a time where it wasn't so nice. Uh, I'm going to put this here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cover up this blue and, and red piece. Like so. And this is already stamped from one of my office stamps. Cute. Just going to put something on. Stickers? Are we going to do stickers? No, we're not going to do stickers. Ticket. Maybe some more poster stamps. Some smaller ones. Something in blue because there's blue here. How about this? Yeah. Yeah, we put this here, this here. Something teeny tiny. Do we have teeny? I have a teeny a box with teeny tinies, don't I? Is it this one? Used to have some teeny tinies in here. But I don't think they're in here anymore. Oh yes, like a number or or this. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's have this on here. Do we need a thingy there? A something? A three? Yep, this goes here, this goes here. Do we want this here? Well, if we do, we want just one piece of it. Oh yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Then we have this one, which is sort of blank. I think I'm going to add this to it and then this on the top. Different colors. Don't like it. Yep. This goes here, here, here. Does this need a thing? No, it doesn't. This one is done. Too big? Yeah, too big. Another sort of a blue stamp. A little bit crooked. Yeah, and then I might put another stamp over it, like a cancellation stamp. Yeah. Yes? Okay, let me put everything on. I put all the pieces on. Um, I'm going to use a cancellation stamp on here. This is from the correspondence set. Well, I don't know if it's a cancellation stamp, but I think it's going to look lovely. So I'm just going to have a piece of paper underneath here. Um, no, I'm just going to do fallen leaves. Oh, why not? I think it's going to look nice. See? There you go. It's just like the real thing. I want to do the same here. Already has a couple of them on. Just there. Yep. More poster stamps. Did we have more poster stamps? No. And we have this one. And what are we going to do here? I want a little stamp. Well, maybe, maybe just here on the top. Yeah. And a tiny bit over there. See? Love it. Do you want something here? Don't use the same stamp over and again. No. Um, this one. Are we going to put a little bit of something in there? I don't know. Let's have a look. Taking out this small one from a centric. I'm just going to put it on there. Maybe a little bit crooked, like so. Oh, yeah. That's cool, right? I'm going to do the same here, somewhere. Just here. And on this one, there. Tiny pieces. Works. I want a number here. I'm all over the place. I know, guys, because I'm just excited. <laughs> 
All of a sudden, I am excited. Or, and this says reserved. No. Identification. Yes. So cool, right? Then we need some stamping here. This says original something something. Yup. And um, now this also says number ticket. New no. telephone number. A telephone number. So cute. Okay, what we're gonna have here? A big something big. Condemned. Let's do something lovely. It says condemned. Do not use until adjusted. I need a bigger block for this. I can't see. Fantastic, right? The number thingy here. Number thingy. This number. Love it, love it. We've already stamped this. What else do we need? Well, I have my stamps out, so let's have let's have a look. Office stamps. Yes, guys, office stamps. I know we're going to use them. Now, I did test this one out. Hopefully, does it fit on here? Yeah, it is Dutch. I could sort of try to explain what's on here, but no, I'm not even going to bother. Oh, it's just fantastic. Needs a, something here in a color. I'm going to do this in the blue. That's black, love. Blue. Absolutely love it. Love it! Yeah, you could do some more. Oh, do you want to use this one again? Do we have another one that it will fit on? No. Maybe a bit, just the first bit. Oh no, I put it, I put the black, no, in the blue. Stupid me. Stupid me. Well, it is what it is. Hoping this will fit. Is it upside down? Who, who knows? Who knows? It was upside down, but that's okay. I like it. It is in blue. Uh, so we're going to do this in black. Put away the blue for now. Love, put away the blue. Don't make that mistake again. No. Ta-da. Cool. Really cool. I have this big one here. Now, I do have a very big stamp. This one that I forgot, just I wanted to put this on the piece of paper, but now uh, everything was stamped and everything is cut out. So I'm hoping, actually hoping we could maybe fit something on here. I think we can. I'm just going to try it because I really want to use this stamp. This was gifted to me. Yeah. In Happy Mail. Speaking of Happy Mail, guys, I received two lovely Happy Mails from overseas. Yes, I did not unpack them, but I can tell you who they were from. They were from Jackie and Karen. Thank you so much, lovies. I really enjoyed them. Hello, Jackson. Be careful, love. No, there's ink here. There's ink here. He wants to say hi. Hi, Jackson. Normally, I would leave Jackson on my desk, but we're working with inks today, and I'd like my cat to keep his 
original color? I don't know. I think it's dangerous. This is the result and I absolutely love it. It's just a part of it. It's really, really cool. Uh, I think I want to do this again on the big one, on this big one. Yeah. Do you want to do another color? Mm, no. No, I think... Uh, guys, I can try to explain what is on here. It is Dutch. I could try to translate it, but why? Why? <laughs> Not necessary at all. Hoping this will fit. It's a little bit crooked. Already know it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Oh, I really like it. Let's put some sort of number thingies on. Oh, I have a more of a stamps. Yes, I have this. And all of these. Um, I have a smaller one even. This one. So yeah, I am not going to um, translate everything that I'm going to put on. Most of this is in Dutch. I have some French. I'll put this here. There you go. Oh, so cool, right? Yeah, do you want some, something else? Yeah, I'm just going to do this one then. Um... This side, this way. Just love it. Cancellation stamp thingy. Yes, but there's brown on here. Let's see, can we... I have a wet wipe. Let's see if I can take everything off. That's the thing, guys. If you're going to stamp in different colors... You need to take off the ink. I think it worked. There or here? Mm, let's do it here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Maybe even favorite. Do you want to do something here? Fill it in with something. Yeah. In a color. Let's do red. Cool. And also this one. Fantastic. Couple more to go. I have a couple more to go. I also have this. Um, I recently found this one. The last sort of roll on here does not want to turn anymore. But that's okay. But because these these do want to turn. Let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, red, blue. I'm going to do blue. I have not even tried these ones out, guys. So is this smart? Is this the smartest thing to do? Um, well, let's just first try it out. <laughs> Number 709 and a half. I love it. And I think I want to have it on here. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, that's really cute. Love this one. I paid 50 cents for it or something. I know, guys. Something like it. I have a couple more of these. Um, where are the other ones? This one. Also an older one. Does this? This says, I think, Dutch Gilders. I think so. I'm just going to have it here. Yeah. Oh, no. It's Frank's. Oh, that is cool because that is on a uh, French something. Cool. Done. What else do we have? This says property of. No, control and control. But they took off and. So it just says sort of control. It's, no. Don't use that one. This is a little bit newer. 2000 something. It's just a date stamp. What else do we have? This one is also really cool. It says incoming January 17th. <laughs> Guess what? I put my birth date on here. Yeah. Incoming. Incoming. There she comes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if this is upside down or dry set up, but that's okay. I'm just going to put it on here. 
It's going to be either or. Oh, yeah. When I was born. So, incoming January 17, 1970. Very, very exciting date. Yeah. I was born. Took my mom about uh, two days to deliver me. So, she keeps telling me. I need to hear it time and time again. Well, no long. Well, my dad's still here. So, he's going to tell me time and time again. <laughs> Do we want something else here? Yeah. In blue. Put this in blue. There. And then something in red. Oh, handle with care. No. Do something with numbers, love. Is this too big? No, it's not. It's actually perfect. Do you want to do red? Yes. I don't think I'm going to put anything here. This one's done. This one's done. Um, I'm going to put this one on. In blue. On the bottom. Yes. Because of, because of very cool. And I'm going to put something here in red. Again, guys, I am not going to uh, translate it. Otherwise, I would be busy all day. But it's it's lovely though. I'm not gonna do anything to this anymore. Maybe something do something here. This was in red, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna use this again. Serial number. One other thing, tag number. Ooh. Claim check. Oh, I have not played with my stamps for a while. I really missed it because I love this. Fantastic. Lots of blank ones. Lots of blank ones. These just need a uh, well, claim check or something like it. See? Come on. Oh, yeah, that's cute. So I'm going to do a couple of those. Um, I have... These stamps that I have not used yet. These are French. Don't know what it says. Do not know what it says. But that's okay. They're just fantastic. These are self-inking, guys. See? It says Rappel. Okay. And this is um, Recommandé. And they're cute. I'm going to do something else to them. Later. Later. What else do I have? Um... Ooh, this sort of says classified. Classified. Will it work? It will. Says classified. In Dutch. I did do some, some translating. Oh, I have another French one. Emprime, emprime. You tell me, guys. Oh, you probably will if you're French. You'll be like, yeah, well, that means this and that. I just think they're really cool. These ones, I want to do something else to them. And I'm quickly going to do the small, all the small ones. Yeah. Oh, a round one. A round one. Do we have a um, big circle round one thingy? I do have one, I believe. Is that big enough? There's a circle here. I know that for sure. Oh, perfect fit. Do you want it in a color? Red. Very cool. Very cool like it now for these ones that i just stamped one thing in i did also do uh, some of the other ones guys i actually should have done this before but i want something in the background so i'm gonna put the background over it <laughs> so i've taken out two of my stencils this is scattered or fractured or shattered don't know guys ths 171 and then the splatter stamp the coffee coffee thingies Coffee thingies, the coffee thingies. So I'm just gonna 
do some of this vintage photo sure oh yes uh yes a big yes big yes some more coffee here some more coffee here also here also there it's just interesting um also some of this fractured or scattered or i don't know anymore guys there's a there's a stamp that's fractured and the stencil is shattered it's either or fantastic also i have um the obscure this scripty sort of stamp that i can sort of use in the back with a much lighter column using vintage photo just to do this oh yeah yes that's that's i love this want to do that again yeah let's do it over here just some script in the back don't think i'm gonna do it with this one let's do it with these yeah and also my splatter stamp Yep. What do we want here? Do something. I need another big stamp here. Do we have a big? Of course, you have big stamps. You have lots of big stamps. Oh, this says copy. No, you don't do copy. Um, non refund. It's way too big. Way too big. What does this say? Also copy. Whoops. Something in red? No, 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 don't do it, love, don't. No, okay. Let's do this big one. I'm indecisive, I am sorry. But I really want something in the background. I've only used this stamp once. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, I need a thingy here. A thingy. A small label. I'm going to put a small label there. Do we want this one as well? Yeah, it's just interesting. Just interesting. So I'm going to put one more piece here. And then I think we did all of them. Then we're finished. Let's go look at the end result. Can you believe we started out with this piece of paper? Yeah, and we made all, all of this. Now, guys, again, you don't need to have the vintage paper. Maybe you have some. Maybe you have some ledger or just, you know, um, something interesting that you can make bits and, and bobs out of. Yeah, I, I have loads. I have loads. I love them all. I love them all, not equally, because this I love probably a little bit more than others. But hey, um, I'm going to use this as if they were labels. Use them as labels. Or uh, you can make this into a talk spot, put an eyelet in, a bread on for decorating. So yeah, I really like them. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Friday, which means the weekend is here. Before I go, before I go, guys, I have a small announcement that I want to share with you guys. This Sunday, October 1st, I'm going to try out a new series on my channel. I've been wanting to do this for months now, but as, as most of you know, there are some personal stuff going on in my life at the moment, so I had to postpone it. Uh, it's going to be on on Sundays, not every Sunday, but you know, whenever. And it's going to be called What's Up? What's New? Now, this is the concept. I am not going to be crafting in these videos or doing tutorials. However, it is all about our wonderful crafting community. In my videos, I want to share news about creators, either the creators on YouTube, if you have a YouTube channel and you you're doing a collaboration or you have a new series out, a new challenge, a new project, a hashtag to follow, or you know of a very new or a new to you channel that you want to share with the rest of us. So I want to share news in the YouTube community as well as 
news from the digital designers. I love to play with digitals. There are so many of them out there. And sometimes they just need uh, a spotlight. So if you have an Etsy shop or a coffee shop, you're doing a new kit, a freebie, you ha are having a sale on your digitals, please let me know. As well as uh, Etsy shops, coffee shops or Instagram shops that sell physical uh, items. Because I love buying on Instagram. Uh, especially these beautiful um, vintage paper bits and such. So I'm going to give you news about those as well. I would love to combine the news from within our craft community with news from the new releases of the craft supply manufacturers like Mr. Tim Holtz and 49 and Market, Stamperia, Graphic 45, you name them. I am very fortunate, guys, that I have access to a lot of it. I, however, do not have the time to play with every single item. But that doesn't mean I have not, do not have the time to show them to you. So I want to do some show and tells of um, new releases that are coming out. Because they're coming out on a daily basis. And why not show them to you guys? So this Sunday, first episode, very excited. I'm hoping you guys can join me then. Uh, because I need you to participate, lovies. Yes, if you are a creator of any sorts and you have something to share, please send me an email. My email address is 7plaza.yt at gmail.com. It's also linked below in the description box. Yeah, please send me an email. So I'm hoping to see you this Sunday. And if not, I'll probably see you on Monday. Until then, have a lovely weekend. Bye, guys.